I had a lot of emails, a lot of Facebook, a lot of YouTube, a lot of phone calls about Simplex 1 and 2. And a lot of people had issues with actually doing the concoction for themselves. Now, a lot of people just didn't want to actually do it. You know, I'm actually for two announcements that I got going on. I'm actually going to put the concoction together in the next two to three weeks because a lot of people have been asking. I'm still ordering a lot of stuff to get it in to provide this to you. Because if you know most of my videos, I actually show you guys how to do things. But this one I got hit heavier than any, any um, of my videos I've done. Even with the black seed oil, I got hit heavy with this one. So um, I'm, I'm going to provide that to those that actually want to get it from me. But wherever you get, I'm going to actually break it down to you on how... On part two, this video, you already seen the time, is going to be kind of long because I've been talking to a lot of people and y'all know, Facebook, YouTube, actually um, uh, phone calls, emails, a lot of you guys didn't get through. And now I'm going to actually talk to you exactly how I talk to those on the phone. Everybody's situation is a little different, but it doesn't change the facts on how to get rid of this out your body, okay? Because I'm going to actually break down here on how first and steps on how we got to start with your depression, your stress, and here and the actual, the actual pharmaceutical industry and whatnot. So certain things I got to be careful how I speak because I'm not worried about you per se or the naysayers or these trolls. I'm more so worried about them individuals. The more popular you get, the more they want to watch you and tell you you shouldn't be saying this and saying that. That's why I have my disclaimer up, you know. So anyway, this is the discussion. As if I had you guys on the phone with me and you called me. Those of you that couldn't call me on, get a hold of me on the phone. And my assistant couldn't book you because I was booked with other things. And, and other people already had the calendar booked for that week. This is that conversation right now. Those of you that couldn't get through through emails and I wasn't responding quick enough. Boom. This is that conversation right now. Those of you that actually couldn't um, get through to me on YouTube and I couldn't respond quick. This is that conversation right now. So... Facebook, this is that conversation right now. So I'm, I'm going to actually give you guys this because it was really weighing on my mind. And the phone calls and emails were so flooded. I was like, wow, what am I going to be able to do? I don't, I don't think they understand it. I didn't deliver it. I had to go watch my video a couple times to make sure I actually gave you guys detailed steps. To me, I did. But because uh, some of the people called me saying that was successful and that I actually was doing it. So anyways. First and, for, first and foremost, the number one killer is stress. That number one weighing down on a person's mind is stress. But first, you get hit with depression. And usually it comes from a list, a laundry list, a grocery list of whatever disease some guy in a white coat tell you about. Okay? So you got, you can go down a list, cancer, diabetes, arthritis, uh, High blood pressure, um, you know, uh, cancer. Did I say that one already? Uh, Alzheimer's disease. I mean, you know, thyroid. You know, it's so many. It's ridiculous. You know, liver failure. You know, you got uh, issues with your your heart. You know, strokes, heart attacks. It's 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 ridiculous how many when you're dealing with the autoimmune disease, grave disease, IBS. I mean. Most diseases start from the gut. Matter of fact, 99, all diseases start from, start from the large intestines, the gut. And, and, and a lot of people just don't know. But when you're dealing with all this information about social media, about what is it called, what's going on in the political world, you never think about your body. You know, uh, a, a lot of just issues that you have is really the inflammation which causes mucus. And then you get that itis somewhere in your body. It's just really in poor circulation. Say, well, my brothers, y'all men, you know, y'all having issues with the man downstairs. Your heart is not strong, man. And I don't really want to, I didn't really want to come out with something that was going to assist you. That's another video, but I didn't want to come out with something that was going to assist you with just getting you to rise your ding dong, you know, and whatnot. We ain't, ain't about that. You know, it's about healing it. And educate, educating you on how it's supposed to always work on a, on a drop of a dime. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so you ain't got to worry about no Skittles and no herbs. Okay? As long as you understand your body. That's coming. I'm about to do that video probably tomorrow or either next week. That's, that's coming. So you can actually know how to actually put your own personal 
ton it together. So anyways, back to this actual herpes. This, this stuff right here, I mean, since I'm not talking to somebody on the phone, I'm very sensitive when I'm talking to you guys on the phone. I don't even use that word herpes because it's a loaded word right there. Same with the word cancer, diabetes, uh, you know, HIV. You know, there's, a lot, there's certain words with these diseases that they have that are like chronic or, or you know, if you don't get these certain stages and be on it forever, you, you pretty much toast. You, you're dead or you got to be on it for the rest of your life. And getting diagnosed for herpes is almost like having a, a felony or a, 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 a somebody giving you a death sentence with a long extended date. It's a, that's on your jacket forever. A felony is on your jacket forever if you get that. And those brothers that got those or whatever family members that have them, you understand, they have a rough time going through life. So when you get this in your jacket and them telling you that you have now simplex one or two, I'm sorry to tell you, you got this and this is floating in your blood. 70% of the time is misdiagnosed for like eczema or psoriasis. This is how they get down. You get one of these wrong clowns that don't know how to read the actual blood test and half the time it's meant for certain groups of people they're going to misread it. And now you got that in your jacket for life. But Mother Nature, your body is a natural, actual purification, detoxication engine. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how the creator just knew, the universe knew you was going to be damaging your body. So you can just over and over and over just be on an American diet and just eat whatever you want. And you don't really feel a lot of pain. So first it starts here. As soon as some doc tells you some crazy mess or, or someone tell you some if information about that you uh, tell you some information that you have this, like herpes. You have lost, it's, it's, it, you feel like the world has ended because now they tell you it's chronic and you got to tell your sexual partners and um, or who did you have sex with, give me their name, all kinds of stuff. And some of you guys dealing with this 10, 15, 20 years and thinking that as long as I take this pill, it ain't going to come back. Who came up with the actual understanding? Who ever told you that you could be treated with a pill? So this is me talking to you just like I talk to them individuals on the phone for an hour to an hour and a half to two hours at a time about herpes, one and two. The embarrassing ones on the face, at least the ones on the genitals, you can hide. And then when you have outbreaks, you don't even understand what that means. So first, let me get pierced the brain, your mindset, and help you understand that most holistic people, those of you that are watching, you know, herbalists and whatnot, y'all know the most battle you have is the family and that individual that believes in that guy in the, with the white coat that give them a bunch of Skittles slash pharmaceutical medication. That bag. That's what they used to. And as soon as that man tells them one thing, it's penetrated in their brain. I'm telling you right now, when did it ever, when did it ever cross your mind? Or when did it come to the point that you, you started really believing wholeheartedly that whatever they say concerning your body, like a disease. I'm talking about a disease. I'm not talking about surgical things that people have. They, they got to be cut open and you need some emergencies. They, they, every, everything in the, in the hospital ain't, them, I, all them cats ain't horrible. I'm just telling you. And all, all actual, but what, what crossed your mind to make you believe that you can actually believe that putting something toxic in your, toxic in your body is helpful? I never believed that a pill was actually good for my body. I knew it was horrible. Yeah, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie and say it. back in the day I didn't take Bayer, Bayer aspirin, Motrin. Yes, yes. The, I mean, need some immediately relief right there, temporary, so this is a block and let the headache go away. Cool, but they all coming from somewhere. Your body alarms you with dizziness, headaches. It alarms you with a little pain in your feet, pain in your back. You know, it alarms you with actually, um, what is it called, your eyes, whatever. It alarms you with mucus coming out your throat. Mucus coming through your nose, you know, when you sleep sometimes, colds like three, four times a year. Your body lets you know when it's just had enough. Fatigue, tired, you know, you just can't, your body has, lets you know. With you. Sometimes your skin turns a certain color, your eyes or your pet, your body lets you know what's up. If you're crying out when it's not 
I need rest. I need you to help me out a little bit. Let me give you a tip right now. This is a scientific fact tip. So I don't, I don't, I'm not really worried about naysayers watching me, like I said, and the actual individuals that don't really, uh, uh, the trolls that follow me. When I do my videos, I make sure that my, my uh, the master herbalists and whatnot, the ones that been in the holistic world for 20 plus years, they like, yeah, young man got it. You're doing a good job. That's what I'm worried about. So here's a tip for you, all right? All right? Your blood actually rejuvenates itself and becomes new every 90 days. Every 90 days. Your organs rejuvenate themselves and become new every 11 months. Your bones become new every two years. Just like a snake sheds its skin and has new skin, your body does the same thing. It's like a cycle. And it has a hard time doing that when you don't actually take care of it, okay? When you're actually damaging your body. You get me? You dig? So you got to actually do more to assist your body. So now we're getting in, in this age time that everybody is actually literally trying to eat right and live right. And also the men, you know, they just want to get it in and have sex more. But you ain't actually taking care of your circulation. Okay, so my point is, what I'm telling you right now, educating you right now, you are a hot commodity. You're more valuable than a cow. You know how much money they make off of a cow? Think about it. I'll wait.